Jaguar being outside, sir. Jag is fine, Carl. Jaguar, sir. Listen, man. It's a lot of things on my mind. But one thing that's bugging me is why the Eagles haven't won a Super Bowl. So I came up with good reasons on how to win a Super Bowl. Because we just haven't been getting it right. It's not about practice and all that. There's other ways to win the Super Bowl. Allen Iverson, Allen Iverson, sir, practice. It's <laughs> NBA, man. We're talking about my Eagles right now. Good times, sir. Good times. Early 2000s. Like, stop taping games and start taping defensive signals during the game. That's how you win the Super Bowl. A la the Patriots. A la Rodney King, sir. They did record that very well, sir. Yes, sir. He did. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. Stop giving the stars all the money. Give the money to a bounty. Let them injure the stars of the opponents. That's how you win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Tom Cruise, sir. Show me the money. Tom Cruise. Yes. <laughs> Threaten to fire your head coach mid-season. That's how you win the Super Bowl. It's go hard or literally go home. You get the team to win. Tom Cruise. Now listen, man. I know y'all don't like the hitters, but Vic, you my man, 
But you're going to have to step your game up. The dog charges and all that was fine, but we're going to need at least a sexual assault. Like two or three times. That's how you win the Super Bowl. Shout out to Ben. <laughs> and last but not least, on how you win the Super Bowl, drugs. Yeah, I said it. Drugs. The Cowboys was riding high. Literally riding high. That's how they won Super Bowls. That's how you won the Super Bowl. Michael Irvin, sir. I, sit, I watch him every week. That's yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's your boy, She. Well, yeah, I said it. On sports enthusiasm, on how to win the Super Bowl. You can follow me on Twitter at Don't Trust Chicks. Catch me on YouTube at your boy, She. Follow us at Sport Enthusiasm. Deuces. I think we should just go with the T Pain. You want a more ethnic style, more, more <laughs> open approach to your singing. Teddy Pendergrass. And this is how the Jaguar will not be stolen. Welcome back. Sports enthusiasm. Technology, people. We're in the future. We saw this in movies. They was moving their hands in the air. Now we're doing it now, man. Boulay Wayne, the Young Bucks. Love up! The Young Bucks got all this technology, man, with the old heads for Bell, a la the Celtics. The Celtics? The Boston Celtics? The Boston Celtics is winning. They starting to win. They're balling. They do what um, San Antonio. San Antonio does the same type they of play, thing. They, they, they play it often. They play the, the long leg at the end. They, exactly. they work out at the end. But the Celtics started to realize that a little bit later, though, but they got the young Rondo to be that little catalyst that they got. Exactly. They, they whole, they whole system is, 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 is relative to um, the Spurs, but it's a little bit different because you know how the Spurs, they'll, they'll cultivate people that you've never heard of. Old school style of ball. Just, yeah, like, true. just like the you know the championship, the NCAA championship. NCAA it's old school side of ball. Kentucky? How do you the know the game? A la Bill Russell. Just uh, block of shots and rebounds. Please Davis. back up. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm not talking right now. Please. The young boy didn't even score until what? The second, third quarter maybe? Anthony Davis dominated. Unibrow? Unibrow. Magic. Magic. Shout out to Magic Johnson. Yeah. So we're going to talk about these brackets. We're going to go to, you knew you grew up doing hip hop when. My man Dr. Fever. TMA. Real fast. West Coast bracket. NWA versus K. Play. NWA. NWA all day. Houdini versus the Fat Boys. This is a tough one. Houdini. Fat Boys. We was we was captivated. We was split. We split. Salt and Pepper versus the Dog Pound. Oh, so, oh, now the group is all pound. So we're talking about Snoop being an affiliate. Salt and Pepper. 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 Put everything into, into consideration. The so, Two Live Crew versus the Alcohol. Two Live Crew. Two Live Crew. Yeah. Live crew. They, they not only, but the two live crew they not right. only made a they statement for music, they made a statement for America. Two Live Crew. UGK versus Pete Rock. It's CL Smooth. P Rock. Oh, P Rock. Yeah. I'm only going to go with P Rock and CL Smooth because P -Rock. P -Rock. I'm East Coast and P Rock is a game. Exactly. Rock and CL Smooth. Exactly. And that's where you got to look at it, E, because right. UJ, UGK is very, very they deep in the game. They a lot of But we're on the East Coast. And I'm not even in here no more. I'm not on it. But I went with P Rock I'm and CL Smooth. Go, you flipped it, though. boys. They can't it. blow.
rivalry with those hated Pittsburgh Penguins, Billy? Sydney! Yo, did that mustache ever come in? Can you grow that yet, kid? What is it about Sidney Crosby? All the little snow bunnies at my job that's all flyered out, they hate this guy. Uh, they say he know, whines and he cries. Because Wayne Gretzky said if records will be broken, it'll be this kid. And it got him all fired up and now he thinks he's better than everybody else. Let me tell you something, kid. You're one hit away from the golf course. One hit away. One hit away. So I think Rizgaloff will do well. I think our young kid lines will come through, and I think the Flyers will beat the Penguins in seven hard four games. Well, I tell you this much. It was a 4-2 season win in the series to Flyers. I think that's how the playoffs break down, 4-2 in six games. But, hey, we'll see what happens. This year, I'm not going with stats and percentages. I, I do it every year, and it always seems to come down to hard. They just get live, but Flyers can win. Well, at year, we got the blue New York. Rangers hitting up Ottawa, got trapped the spot there. The New York Rangers, I think, clean that up easily. Five games, I don't think Ottawa plus is much of a threat. Well, I would like to disagree. Once again, this man says he doesn't go by statistics. He says New York is going to win, but New York didn't win one game against Ottawa all year. So I'm going with Ottawa in a shocking upset. And, and remember, the when the Devils swept us right during the season, we wiped them up in the playoffs. I'm just telling you, Seriously, it's, it's, it's matchups. Go. It's matchups. Now, Boston, they have been slipping off during this year and coming down. Heavy Tim Thomas, not himself. They really should have been able to take the first spot. Ovechkin, not big time. Ovechkin, Ovechkin. Washington All scraped and games. scraped to get in. I think they're going to take this one in a six or seven game series. Come hey, DC. But y'all, I'll tell you this much, y'all. How, how, how great did, did, did the Devils wind up? They're sitting there against the Florida Panthers, who, in my, my opinion, deserve to be in the playoffs. Martin Brodeur the is the greatest goaltender of all time. Yes, he's he personally is. responsible for about three cups. I'm going with the Devils. Absolutely. New Jersey coming through. The West, you got the President's Trophy there, Vancouver, L.A. They just dropped off the end of the season. Sitting in the fourth spot, now they dropped to eight. I don't think they last. Uh, I, think I they can't go with season. hockey in L.A. I'm going with Vancouver. Hey, and you got to remember, St. Louis, go. A surprise of the year. Get up there, Brian Elliott. I think he holds strong. I think they Detroit, take care of San Jose. Detroit. Detroit. Hey, the four five that. series are going to be the best. NJ, Philly, Billy, Bang Bang. Nashville. Chicago, Phoenix. Come on now. Detroit, the puck stops here. We'll see you next week with more hockey action coverage. He shoots, he scores! Welcome back to Sports Enthusiasm. Violent music, violent clothing, but knowledgeable at the same time. Foolay Wayne, you taking me back, man. This yeah. Freak Nick James, man. Freak Nick? What's this? Well, yeah. It's 96, it's man. 96? 96. Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta before it turned the corner. I've never, I never been, been down there. I've been down there one time to visit my man Sheen down there one time. That's the only time I've been Sometimes down there. Sometimes you know Sheen been down there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It reminds me, it reminds me of Hot Atlanta, man. There was a lot of stuff popping down south that had festivals for young people, like Daytona Beach. Yeah. Daytona Beach? I've never been there. Florida? Miami? The whole Florida area? Speaking of Florida, on 30 for 30 last night, they had the U. The U? The U. The U. The Hurricanes. I feel like I'm chicken sometimes, man. Somebody's at the door. Come on in, man. Who is this? Come on in. Who is this? Oh, What's up, boo man? Leggedy. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? My man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just down here doing my thing, bro. Walls up. You got to slide over, man. Ain't no room in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got we to gotta have, gotta have plenty of room, so you want to give me a little bit of room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't do a lot of that. Give me some room. I need a lot of space. Yeah, you need a lot of Big space, boy. man. We got my man Black right here. He coaches. The Hurricanes in South Philly. South Philly Hurricanes. Pop Warner team. Pop Warner. Football. Football. Keeping it real, keeping it gutter, keeping it educated. That's you know what, what we're saying. We're trying to help the youth. Trying to help, trying to teach the truth to the young black youth. Where did that line come from, people? Team you know your Summit. Team Summit, man. That's Wu Tang. Kick the truth to the young <laughs> black youth. Team <laughs> Summit. <laughs> Yo, what you know about that? Speaking of that, we're gonna go to your boy Philly Billy. We'll forget about it. Forget it.
Welcome back to Start Here for SE on Yachty Box YouTube. How we doing? You know what, man? You made Philly Billy seeing this thing on TV the other night. You know, all these people are interviewing these kids and, oh, you're these big, huge, huge fans of 30 Rock. Let's put you on TV and interview and say, oh, oh, wow, you're a fan. So let's all talk about you and put you on TV. Let's, you're a big fan. So, well, we just make you famous. Like, wow. You know what I mean? But don't be talking about the fans who like, you know, 67, yeah, you heard me, 67 television shows like your man Philly Billy. Let's just focus on the people who only give a crap about one. Well, you know what, man? You look at your people, woof, woof, the dog pound, huh, the black hole, and yeah, your boy here in Philly, Sean Young, okay? Guess what? What do I got in Cleveland? Three pro teams? I know in Washington, with the hog hats, they got four. And here in Philly, we got four, Mr. Young. But guess what? Philly Billy don't bleed. He don't bleed green. He don't bleed orange. Forget about it. You man, Philly Billy bleeds Philly. Are you kidding me? You got these, you, you guys get commercials? They, 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 they highlight you? Make a thing about you? Oh, you're on uh, Guy Codis, or you're on Visa that. And you hug got some hug me in that crap anyway. You hear me? But guess what? You man, Philly Billy, he's got some green, red, white, blue, orange. He's got it all. You know why? Because he's a true Philly fan. He lives for Philly. The entire city. Not one team. So you want to glorify these people who sit and say, oh, I'm a fan. Oh, because, yeah, you, you cheer for one team make it. Oh, 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 where are you at the other games? Where are you at in the rank in the ball field? Philly Billy makes a ruckus in every field. Because Philly Billy is Philly. Forget about it. Day live. Channel 66 Sports Enthusiast with my little cousin Tierra in the house. Playing for Newman Garetti. She has won a scholarship. Scholarship, that is? Scholarship to Arcadia. What, what did you the me? former Beaver University. <laughs> Beaver. And even though she played great tonight, they got trash, but we don't care because they still gonna win the championship. Tierra, tell everybody about your hard work and dedication here at Newman Garetti. Four years, I've been working hard, finally got my senior spot. And start a point guard. Um, we're gonna keep working hard. We're going to the champions, uh, championship against Prep Charter, okay. and hopefully we get the uh, championship. Yes, and when y'all do that, y'all gonna go to the state, right? No, we are going to the states. We're going to the states against Prep Charter. Oh, okay, okay. What about the Catholic League? Catholic League. I mean, tonight the tournament. If we would have won tonight, we would have had first place. The other we lost, I think we got third place. We're still good. We probably want to play like Saint Hubert to uh, Lansdale. Will it be at the Palestra or be? No, it's gonna be here Thursday. We'll be here. We here. Do the top seeds get a buy, like if you I think so. Let's talk about how good a student athlete you are. What about your grades? Because you know in Catholic school they don't let you slip. A three point four. Whoa. Yes. Pretty good. Three point four. Impressive. And um, yes. And let's talk about how you born and bred in South Philly your whole life. We Four work in days. we work in South Philly. We are probation officers. The people have a very bad reputation about South Philly. They call it Planet South Philly, Third World South Philly. No, no. All the girls in South Philly set you up to get robbed. How were you able to avoid How was you the able to avoid the pitfalls all that? Of South Philly. My parents raised me very well and I was able to avoid all the negativity. That was a good answer, wasn't it? That was pretty good. Like and, do you, and do you think that being involved with sports helped you in that? Yeah, as well? being involved with sports helped me a lot. Uh, keep me out of a lot of nonsense. Even when I was younger, yeah, I wasn't bad with running around, but playing sports keeps me out a lot. Of Welcome back to Sports Enthusiasm. Blinken University is in the building. Delaware State University is in the building. American colleges being represented to the fullest level with graduates, graduates who also have, please back up, who also had a whole lot of fun at our historically black Word. universities. Word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We did it like so nobody did it before. we got Anthony Meadows right here. L.U. South Philly. All day, every day. S.P. You know. S.P. That's what we do. All right, so, so tell me, how did you get started with coaching? you know, the kids in South Philly, bring them together in this program? Well, I had no intentions on coaching. My whole thing was, I want to go there, and I want to record my son playing football. 
doing things that my pop wasn't doing for me when I was a young boy. Right. You know, so I go there. You know, in the community, we got a lot of on the weekends, Friday and Saturday. It's a lot of, lot of, lot of old heads, cats our age, that's in the bars. Right. But ain't nobody on the fields, the courts, or anything helping out the kids. Right. You know, so my thing was, it was one coach. Right. That one coach for a football team. For a football team. And, and thirty you, kids. And you played high school football. I played high school. Where'd you play high school? Football? South Philly High, Southern Home of the Rams. You know. So, you know, obviously, there takes more than one coach to coach a football team. Obviously. <laughs> obviously, and that's one of the deficiencies we got in our neighborhood that we still have. You know, so my thing was, my son is not going to get proper coaching and proper attention like he needs. So I said, I'm going to help out. You had to climb over the fence. You had to, you had to climb into the field. I had to walk onto the field. We don't got a fence. Down there. <laughs> All right, <but> toward <laughs> the fence. <laughs> Was, that, was there fences at one point? There, there was no fence. Okay. There was no fence. It was just, hey. Is there this grass? Is a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of grass. We make do what we got to do. We make, we make it work. Yeah. You know, if it's dirt, it's dirt. Then we we play played football. on the concrete behind my house. Exactly. We played in the backyard. Yeah, tackle football. On the concrete. On the blacktop in the streets or the driveway. You know what to do. The driveway? The driveway. Oh, we don't have them. We ain't. Oh, yeah, I forgot the driveway to South Philly. Y'all know. <laughs> um, you know, that, what you talking about right now is Greek to me. See, now, see, now we're going to our history. <laughs> we're going to our history. Um, South Philly versus West Philadelphia. And hey, that's not what we're here for, right? We're not here for that. We're not here for that. But we're going to go to someone else who knows about West Philly. We're going to go to your boy EJ with politics as usual. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy EJ Live, Comcast Cable, Channel 66, Sports Enthusiasm, coming at you live with another episode of Politics as Usual, where sports, politics, crime, and finance all come together for one big picture. And you're probably wondering, you know, Chief Rocker, why are you sitting down here on this creek? Why, why are you sitting? Well, sitting is a privilege, because guess what? If Matt Geiger didn't sit the bench, we would never have this man, Alan Iverson. You see him. Bubba Chuck, Sixers, 2001 season. When most people think of 2001, you know what they think of? They think of the World Trade Centers, Osama Bin Laden. But not us here in Philadelphia. What we think about is that magical train ride of the Philadelphia 76ers, that 2001 year when that man, Allen Iverson, led us to a spectacular championship run. But oh, lo and behold, party people, that almost didn't happen because Larry Brown, great coach that he was, was sick and tired of the answer. He was sick and tired of the mispractices, the palmers, the transiting, the lack of practice time, the inability to develop with his players. So Larry Brown wanted to have this man traded. He called Pat Croce. Pat Croce begged and pleaded, no, you can't train Allen Iverson. We don't know why. We think maybe it was economics. We think maybe it was chemistry here in Philadelphia. But the boy, Matt Geiger, decided that he didn't want his trade kicker to kick in. So AI did not go to Detroit. AI, in a furious rage to prove Larry Brown wrong, went out and was the best player in the NBA in 2001 and led the Sixers, a team of hard-working, scrapping, blue-collar players that represented Philadelphia to the fullest, and we fell in love with them. It was a magical carpet ride that culminated in a seven-game series with the Toronto Raptors. And what I want to talk about is how Vince Carter from North Carolina Vince Sanity, the original high-flying dunker way before Blake Griffin, they always tell African-American people, you know, you got to go to school, you got to get your education. Vince Carter sacrificed millions of dollars to go back to North Carolina and get his education. And it just so happened that his graduation was on the same day as the seventh game against the Sixers in the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Vince went to his graduation, and unfortunately, the last second shot came down to him. And thankfully for us, he missed. But he was criticized, torched, and brutalized in the paper for going to his own graduation. But these are the same folks who will criticize the Fab Five, who will criticize African-American men who come out of college shortly before they supposed to because they need to support their families. But when Vince Carter did what they said they wanted him to do, he 
was chastised and brutalized. And that's what I'm talking about. Here on Politics as Usual, AI, Vince Carter, and the 2001 76ers, who sadly ended up losing to Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. It's your boy EJ Live, Comcast Cable, Sports Enthusiast, Channel 66, with Politics as Usual. Things of that nature. Right, right. I think should have seams put in proper areas. <laughs> so we take it back to my man Anthony Meadows, aka Black, Black. You know, Zach. aka Good LU's sir. finest, mm. aka when I come Soul up to Lincoln, and house. you know, he makes sure I, I, I get my chicken patties, make sure I get you know my pop, proper beverages, make sure I get my access to the parties that was in the basement. We're gonna get proper appreciation for being there. That's some like of the, the parties in the, the basement parties. It was like in the, it was like a dungeon in the basement. What's going no, on? There was no man. basement. There was just hospitality parties. We like to show hospitality. <laughs> and HBCUs, <laughs> we make you feel comfortable. I felt it's great. like being down south up north. I felt you know what I mean? Comfortable. Everybody can't do that, but we do. I and that's just how we I do very comfortable. I'm glad you did. I did. You know, so, so let's talk about now. You know, you have you have the team, the Hurricanes. Exactly. You know, what what age group are we talking about? Well, I coach five, six, and seven year olds, but our, our team has kids from five years old to fourteen years old. So you so you guys go by age instead of weight. We, we go, go by we, we go, go by, by weight. weight. We go by weight and age. Okay. All right. In order for you to make the team, mm -hmm. you know, each different division, each different uh, they got the seventy-five pounds, ninety pounds, one hundred fives, okay, one twenties, one thirty-five. How do you feel about this? Because I, I coach seventy pounds, and you know you have kids thirty-something pounds. You have a kid at seventy-five. It's the same situation with yours, right? Right. right. So you know, I, I found you know a little concern with that. Like some of them kids get mauled. Well, the thing Shout is, shout out to the Maulers. The 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 no, you the, thought you had a hard name with Hurricanes, Pause, no. Maulers. <laughs> you know you. Everybody know about you. From Winslow Town. Everybody know about the U. Winslow Town is from South Philly. We in the hood. Carl it might not be the U of Miami, but it's the U of the hood. All right, you gotta learn the hood. I like that. I know. I hate you. I, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, <laughs> you gotta learn the hood. And we teaching the young man about how to be men. All right, like number one, good. first and foremost, we're not there just for football. Right. You know, I, I get kids. It's on my team. They doing bad at home, they doing bad at school, they didn't play. It's bigger than the sport. Yeah, it's, it's not about it's about sport. It's about it's about developing, a, a, developing young a young man. Helping them and to become a better person. Real. You know, and, and that's the thing what I do. So yeah. who do you compete against and and how deep did you guys go into whatever well, division you're in? I've been coaching. You're doing pop one, yeah. so you can go you can well, go to the top, right? How does that work? The 75s and 90 pounds, they don't go all the way to Disney World. Okay. You know, the 75 and 90 pounds. So we want to go to Disney World with what's going on in society well, right now. They got the Super Bowl. Everybody want to go to the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Is that in Disney World? Is that that's, that's in Disney. They got a big stadium down Florida's there. Florida's a little hectic right now. Florida's, want, do Florida's we, a lot hectic. Do we want to go there right now? And don't make me put my hoodie on. Oh. Put your hoodie on. Oh. Listen, oh. all I'm saying is that, um, you know, Proper things from proper perspectives. And right now, we're doing the enemy. So I'm going to take the hoodie off. But at the same time, when I go out these doors, my hoodie going to be on. Exactly. It's a mind state. Just exactly. Like, just like I told you about the Malcolm X College, you know, historically black college sweatshirt from back in the day. Exactly. It's a mind state. So you guys don't go all the way to the end. It's more of a developmental type of situation. It's, it's, it's more of a developmental. And it's all about, you know, instruction. Mm -hmm. We're teaching the, the young kids. How to play the game. Right. You know, we want them we want to introduce them to the game so that they are gonna be there for you know, forever. It's old men that play football. Rough right. touch, you know, it's guys that went to a semi pro high school, college, cast that wanted to make it in the NFL but didn't do it, so they semi pro and you know, but my thing is teach the kids the game. So let them have fun. It's the higher learning. Higher learning. A la ice cube. <laughs> and, that's, and that's big work, man. 